Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I am That Disney Mom for you who are new here. Today I'm going to be react reacting to beach wedding cakes, which I think should be really fun. Um, I've never done one of these videos before and if you don't know or don't follow me on social media, I am actually a freelance cake decorator, which is kind of a weird title, but I have worked professionally in a bakery before until I started to kind of get out on my own and from there I just did that because I am a stay-at-home mom. But I myself actually had a beach themed cake at my wedding because we got married on the beach so we had a beach cake. It was really fun. I painted a castle to go on top of my cake. It was kind of ugly but you know it was the thought that counted. But um, let's get started. Okay, so our first cake. This is really pretty. Um, I like the simplicity of it. I love the starfish, the beadwork around it. And overall, this really screams beach wedding cake to me. So, you know, way to go. Next one. Ooh, this one's pretty. I like this one. I don't know if that is... I think that's supposed to be waves. I'm hoping that's supposed to be waves. And it looks like they have actual real seashells. If those aren't real seashells, then the person who did that is really, really gifted and crafty. Next one. Mm, I don't like this one. This one does not scream beach wedding to me the way the other ones just did. The flowers going on top of the cake are cute. But personally, I would not put flowers on a beach wedding cake. That's just me. Also, the frosted lace overlay, we'll call it, around the tops of the tiers, don't, I don't think those really go with it. But again, it's not my wedding cake, just my opinion. Next. Oh, this one's, this one's kind of cute. Um, I like that it has some color in it. The drapery of the fondant is really nice. I also like how the cake isn't squared, but it isn't rounded either. The edges are kind of beveled. And I like that it has some texture in it also. But I'm not actually a fan of, I'm not actually a fan of the brittle stars um they if you don't know what a brittle star is it's this one in particular it's like a cousin related to the starfish i'm really not a fan of them on wedding cakes i'm really not but um again just my opinion i i, I like this cake other than the the brittle fish it's it's a really pretty cake next one. Oh wow this one's they really went all out for this one the waves are pretty the way the pearls come down um, the cake are pretty. Um, I would have gone maybe one more layer with the pearls or down the next tier with the pearls. I don't know. There's something off about this cake. Maybe it's the color. I think it's the color that's throwing me for a loop. The waves across the bottom of the tier are really pretty. Yeah, th this is a pretty cake. I like this. Next one. This does not scream beach wedding to me. Okay, um, this seems really plain to me, honestly. It's like buttercream along with some, looks like, and it won't let me zoom in, some edible gold leaf. And it's simple, simplistic, but I feel like this cake is really lacking in color. There could have been a lot more potential for a simple cake again with the flowers sticking out on the one side it doesn't look like they push them in all the way and it looks like hey we're just gonna stick some flowers in this cake and try and make it look pretty i'm not a fan of this cake at all sorry next all right this this is screams beach wedding uh Mm, that fondant, man, has, when you zoom in on the fondant, that fondant has a lot of air bubbles under it, it looks like. Unless that is, I'm pretty sure that's fondant. Um, the cake is okay. It's, it's not bad looking, 
but if you zoom in on the second tier at the bottom where the pearls are, it looks like they, the baker, cake decorator, whoever it was, put frosting there to hold, or the buttercream there to hold the pearls in place, which is a really sloppy job to do. And under the group of shells on the left-hand side too, if you zoom in, there also looks to be maybe some cornstarch left on there. Um, cornstarch um, is used to roll out fondant because it doesn't stick very hard like flour does, and it doesn't change the taste or the texture. You can just kind of brush it off, but it doesn't, unless that's a reflection of something, but it does not look like a reflection. I could be wrong. Again, it's just a picture. But besides those things, um, I, I kind of like this cake. I like all the groups of shells um, all over it. So this one has my stamp of approval-ish, halfway. Oh, okay. Squared cakes, squared tier cakes. Um, I think being a cake decorator for as long as I have, I don't really like squared cakes, honestly. They, I don't know, it's just something more aesthetically pleasing that I like with round cakes. But again, I will make whatever my customers ask me to. But this cake does not, I don't like this cake. Um, the pearls are sprinkles are the round sprinkles that probably Wilton sells. I don't like this. The color is weird. The, no, just no. It look, this cake looks unfinished. The pearls are placed weird. They're not, they're missing pearls on more of the right hand side of the cake and it looks like they forgot. I don't like this. This looks like a cake they just kind of slapped together and said, hey, let's do this, put some color on the reef. No, I don't like this. Again, not my cake, but personally, I don't like this. Oh, okay, this is cuter. This does scream beach wedding cake to me. The little chairs on top of the cake, those are really cute. The little fence around the tiers and even at the bottom. I like how they didn't do the fence all the way around all of the tiers, how they only did it on half and they staggered it. And then the sand, the sand at the, the bottom, that's really cute. I don't know if that is crushed up graham crackers, which is something you can really do. You put it in a food processor or a blender to grind it down to a really uh, fine powder and then you would sprinkle it but these actually look like sprinkles again that Wilton sells at Michael's craft store if you are not familiar with that and then the little touches of these buttercream dots this cake is made out of buttercream there is no fondant on that yeah there's no fondant on that I also like the ribbon going around to add some color to it so um, this, this is really cute. I like it. And I like the heart at the bottom left corner. Oh, blue cakes. Some more blue cakes. Okay. This is cute. Super cute. Um, I'm not a, f I really don't like how solid blue it is. I think maybe they could have added some white in it to make it look like a color wash. Mm. and the piping design around the edge of the tiers is cute pretty standard for a wedding cake because it's an easy design to do I'm not a fan of the color of it but overall still with the brittle fish and the starfish I'm just not a fan of brittle fish but overall it's a really cute cake Okay, it's nice to see some color. Yay, other than blue and that weird peachy color that people like to use. No, okay. I really love the purple colors. The, <laughs> this golden pineapple on top that's sitting on top of this cake is kind of a strange cake top where I've never seen that in all the years that I've been doing this. <laughs> it's, it's a really cute cake. They just did it in buttercream. 
as I zoom in. This, again, does not scream beach wedding to me, but this was in the beach photo section, but it's it's still a really pretty cake. I, I like this. Next. Uh, okay. This is all, it's either gum paste or fondant. And what, the only thing I don't like about these folds in the cake per se it's more creating a wave theme than anything. Again, which is cute. It gives the cake texture, which is nice to see. The white flower is pretty. The greenery at the bottom, again, cute. <laughs> I, 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 I'm really 50-50 on this. I like it, it's pretty, but again, it it's simplistic, which is very popular right now for wedding cakes, also for naked cakes, where you just scrape the buttercream frosting off of the cake from the crumb coat and you stick some flowers on it and you call it a cake. If it's done right, it's it's really pretty. This is, again, pretty cake, but too simple for my taste. Oh, this is so cute! Okay, so we've got like this peachy ombre colors. So it goes from pink to like peachy to white, which is really cute. I love the little seahorses on top. Okay, there are some, as I zoom in, there are some breaks in the fondant or the gum paste. Um, again, you can't really tell what they used. The breaks in there tell me in that fondant that tells me that they rolled it too thin it's it's tricky when you're working with fondant or gum paste because if you roll it too thick the weight of it can actually start to make it fall if you roll it too thin which it looks like they did it starts to break and um overall even if you zoom out it's still really cute concept again i love the little simplicity of it i do actually really like the flower on it but again it, I think it would look pretty with or without the flower so good job whoever did this oh, oh no 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 oh cake fail major wedding cake fail <laughs> who the hell did this cake oh okay let me say one thing if you make your own wedding cake do yourself a favor and practice because I can I can appreciate a couple or a mom and daughter, whoever it is, to make a wedding cake. My great grandmother actually made a couple of wedding cakes for family members decades ago and I got to see that process when I was a little girl. She has since passed away about nine or ten years ago, I want to say. Um, but I can appreciate a person making their own wedding cake <laughs> but to the person who ordered this if you paid money and this is what got delivered to you oh my god I feel so sorry for you because the one thing I personally do as a cake decorator I always make sure my customers approve every step of the process I will message them be like hey is this the right shade of blue that you wanted is this the edible image I, I will literally walk through every step of the process with them and this is so horribly done that I would not even want to have it at my wedding at all because I would be so embarrassed by it people would be laughing at it and that's not something you want on your big day um, the chairs are cute, but this is an overall fail, majorly. Oh, oh God, oh God, this is not a wedding cake. I don't think this is a wedding cake. Oh, yeah, okay. So we have the picture for comparison, what the girl wanted, and it looks like maybe a rosette-ish cake, but I don't see the rosettes because the picture is kind of fuzzy when I zoom in. So it's like this ombre-ish style cake. So white, pink, and then this darker pink with a red. And then she's got this white tear with an orange tear. Oh, honey, I feel so sorry for you. If you paid a professional for this, again, 
wow, I hope you got your money back because that looks horrible. One thing you could do to spruce up this cake, again, flowers could come in. You could go to Michael's or Walmart and stick some flowers in it or find some figurines for it. Um, this cake is still workable, but obviously it's not what she ordered. <laughs> that's, that's a major fail. Oh, no! The cakes. Oh, the cakes. Bad words. Okay, so maybe this is a sandcastle cake that they were trying. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my. Oh, my. This is an this is a major fail. This is epic fail on this is just an epic fail altogether. Um I can literally say nothing nice about this cake. I am so 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 sorry. Other than the one little starfish looks looks really cute. Um and maybe that one little chocolate seashells, the seashells it looks like look okay. Other than that, there is nothing good to say about this cake. So sorry. Next. <laughs> okay. Congratulations to the broom and bride. Um, that's an edible image cake. Oh, con congratulations. Rat R? Con congrats. Congratulations. C O R G. R Knats. Wow, they can't even spell and it says broom and bride instead. Bride and groom or groom and bride. Oh, so sorry to you people. I hope that cake tasted great or at least you got a partial refund or a store credit. Or if somebody made that, shame on you. If a family member made that, shame on you. Okay, so this is called a geo a geo cake, yeah, geo cake, where you you tear the cake or whichever cake you want to do, and it, have, it does not have to be a tiered cake, and you cut out some cake, you put buttercream frosting on it, whichever one that you want, and you fill it with rock candy. And the one major issue I have with this cake is that top tier. That top tier looks horrible. Um, why you would ever do a short tier on a very tall cake is really bad on your part as a cake decorator because it does not look aesthetically pleasing. It literally looks like you forgot the other layer on top of that tier. So... Is it a pretty cake? Yes. Does it scream beachy? No, it doesn't. Not to me. That top layer, I can't get over that top tier. So, cute cake, doesn't scream beach, other than the seashell in the bottom corner. Not a fan. But the the aspect of it, the marbling of the cake is, is really beautifully done. But that top tier, I can't get over. Next! Oh, okay, so relatively new concept that a lot of people are opting for because of COVID and things like that are, even I personally offer packages with it, is a small cake for the bride and groom or the birthday person, along with a lot of cupcakes. So each person gets their, their own piece of cake, we'll say. Believe it or not, it is actually cheaper. Most places, it is actually cheaper to get cupcakes done, multiple cupcakes done, than it is to order a huge wedding cake. Because cupcakes are easy, they only take minutes, and they only take um, a small amount of time to decorate. Obviously, now that's going to depend on the decorations that you want on them, but the concept overall I really like because you don't have to try and cut even pieces of cake, which there are a couple of different ways to do, but I really, really love these concepts that are going on right now. Next. Okay, another beach wedding cake with, is 
that the bride and groom on top? They look like salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> They're really cute though. Um, we got the sand dollar. I really like sand dollars on cakes because it, it gives that extra beachy feel other than just starfish and like seashells. I like the color on this cake. I think it's really pretty. Uh, well, minus the, the orange-ish color. I like that there's color in the cake. If I could go back and redo my wedding cake with more color, I would because my cake was all white, even though it had different textures to it with the seashells and the starfish and just everything in general because my cake was my main cake. Staircases came down to two cakes and then two more staircases came down to a small little cake that was on the bottom. I really wish I could have redo my wedding cake at this point, but I still loved it. I still love it, but if if I knew then what I know now kind of deal nine years later, it, it'd probably be a different story. But I like, again, the, with the flowers, I think they add a cute little thing to it. But again, I'm not a fan of flowers on a beach wedding cake. Still an over cute concept though. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, had to find those couple little other fails those 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 fails oh no i will do another reaction video at a later date bye